Steve uh, Bannon's uh, excuse for not cooperating with that uh, January 6th committee is that he wants all questions of executive privilege to be decided by courts before he actually uh, goes and cooperates. He says that it's up to uh, basically Donald Trump to uh, sort of authorize him to speak about uh, what happened on January 6th. The problem, according to uh, Democrats and some Republicans, is that well, he wasn't working at the White House on uh, January 6th, uh, 2021. Uh, he had been gone from the White House uh, for a couple of years already when that happened. And so they say that there is no executive privilege that he could use. But that's his uh, position. Now, the House did vote to uh, hold him in criminal uh, contempt, referring that criminal uh, contempt to the Department of Justice. And that is really uh, the center of the issue for uh, those who voted for that criminal contempt, all of the Democrats and uh, nine Republicans, including Liz uh, Cheney and Adam Kinzinger, who are both on the January 6th uh, committee. Uh, the uh, House is referring it to the Department of Justice. So the final word will be with the Attorney General Merrick Garland, Merrick Garland, who said that he will apply the facts and the law to make that decision. He's under pressure from Congress Democrats, but also from the president, Joe Biden, to prosecute, but he will make that decision. And even if he does, this might take months or maybe even years to uh, actually prosecute uh, Steve Bannon. And the last successful uh, criminal uh, contempt case was back in the 80s under uh, the Reagan administration. So in the end, Steve Bannon may be the winner because what he wants is simply to delay and to prevent him from appearing in front of that January 6th committee.